Welcome to Professor Grunsplatter's Spookatorium. I am your curator, Professor Grunsplatter. Beyond these doors crouch the wonders, horrors, and wry smiles of an uncanny world. This world, your world. Should you choose to come inside, the sounds and stories that the shadows tell will be yours to behold. Make no mistake, it is a place of questions, not answers. A place where the tickle in your belly or the twitch in your eye simply mean you're paying attention. But then if you weren't curious, you wouldn't be here. There will be no refunds once you enter. Thank you for your attention and the brave ones come with me. I said 
Welcome to episode 45 of Professor Grunsplatter's Spookatorium. I am your humble host. That was Princess Tiny Meat with Angels in Pain, and the drummer from the Virgin Prunes was the mind behind that project. A bit of a forgotten gem, if you ask me. Uh, opening the show was the monochrome set with Leather Jacket, and the lyrics on that one just make me smile. So, uh, coming up later... Uh, on the show, England's uh, The Devil's Causeway and Satanic Frogwell. Um, but first, this is Asfarat with Hexentons.
That was Sleep Runner with Thick Walls. Uh, before that was Black Color with Spirits from the Born in Ruins release. And then opening that set was Asferat with Hexentons. Leaving the Spookatorium today, as you point yourself back toward the mundane, take a moment to stop and drink in one of these roadside attractions. Acton Burnell in County Shropshire is northwest of Birmingham and south of Liverpool in the UK. When I initially found this story, that of the devil in the form of a frog at the bottom of a well, I was quite pleased. Uh, I always try and find multiple sources or opinions on anything that I include here to get a broader picture. And after going down the rabbit hole on this one, every source I found seemed to be repeating the same tale. And not even variations of the same tale. They all seemed to come from the same single, uncredited source. Uh, in searching for more information on the well, it did lead me to the Devil's Causeway, which is in the same area. And yet nothing seemed to directly link the causeway to the well. And the Devil is even personified in two entirely different ways. So, uh, that said, it's still a nice little piece of folklore. It's said that the devil himself forged a stretch of a road between Acton Burnell and Cardington in a single night to aid him in his travels. It's first mentioned in 1883 in a book of Shropshire uh, folklore written by Charlotte Byrne. Um, she described it as a stretch of rude pavement from two to three hundred feet in length. Uh, it's believed it was formed as part of an old road created by the Romans and was never more than about 13 feet wide uh, based on a, a local antiquarian's assessment of it. The legend goes um, the devil wanders the road still and anyone who should take the path after midnight may chance upon him. His appearance is that of a man riding a white horse but he has the horns and hooves of a goat or a cow and is said that he's tasked himself with judging those out late at night. If you have lived a good life, the devil cannot harm you and you're allowed to pass so that you might warn others. Those, however, with a, quote, wretched soul will be beaten to a pulp by old Nick. It's between Acton, Burnell, and Ruckley that the well is said to be. Off the side of the road, a spring drips into a stone basin. Even in times of drought, the spring is known to flow. The locals claim the water has medicinal properties that cure eye ailments. While all of that may paint a picture more in line with the Fae, this has a bit of a more diabolical reputation. Here you will find three imps, cleverly disguised as frogs, always seen together, and Satan himself, in the form of a larger frog, sits waiting and hiding at the bottom of the well, rarely venturing out to show himself. Now there's a few things about these that seem odd to me. As much as I like the idea of each of them, I couldn't find anything about the frogs interacting with people or causing problems for anyone, only that they were there. It also seems funny that the source talking about the causeway used yards and feet, even though it's a local source in the UK, the Shropshire Star. Um, the devil is letting the good-hearted pass without challenging or tempting them, but punishing those who might have bad intentions in mind. I don't know. All in all, they're still entertaining stories and still live on all this time later. I was hoping that uh, tangent would yield better fruit than that, but um, I spent so much time on it that I didn't have time to go after something else. But entertaining either way. And uh, now, this is Infinity's Astrum.
That was Law with Sacrificial Key. Uh, before that, we had Last Life with States of Matter from the Wolf Slayer EP. And opening that set was Infinity's Astrum with A Path to an Unremitting Sky. Up next is Nightmares. This is a collaboration between Jonathan Kennedy, David Reed, and Mark Solotroff, each of them with numerous and heralded projects, and this one is no different. This is We Were Melded Together from the self-titled 7-inch.
Spookatorium exists to showcase music and ideas. I am not an expert at anything, and I have no agenda beyond fostering curiosity. The show is not monetized on any platform. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and others. A video version is available on the Cryonic Mind YouTube page. If you can like, subscribe, comment, etc., it helps the show's visibility. If your music was featured here and you'd prefer it was not, let me know and I will remove it from the feed. You can reach the show at spookatorium at gmail.com. The website can be found at spookatorium.org, and your comments are always welcome. Thanks very much for spending some time here.
That was Pyrophilius with Archaeology. Before that was Eurasai with Asphyxiate. And that set started with We Were Melded Together from Nightmares. And I think that's about it for this one. Thanks, as always, for listening. And as the curtain draws on this episode, let's go out with uh, Witch Bottle with the title track from their Femme Feral release. Thanks. Thanks.